The first season of Bosch has passed and left us with more questions than answers. The debut season of Bosch was a mix of mystery, murder, and Bosch's unusual flawed by justice antics, but it also set the stage for some major drama in season two, with a dramatic development in the episode's final moments. We still have a lot of characters to meet, but we have a better idea of what's coming in the second season. So buckle up, because today's video is all about season two. Let's hop right in. First up, Harry taking down a ruthless assassination attempt in the Bosch Legacy season finale. Episode Always picks up with Harry racing against time to rescue Viviana from the anonymous hitman who's been dispatched to put an end to her life. He spots her and her son outside of the loft and goes inside to find the assassinator. But we believe the hitman isn't stupid enough to mess things up so easily and she's not going to give up on her mission to destroy Vance's only heir. Now that he's no longer even a police officer, Harry is free to use whatever he thinks is necessary to keep his client secure. Viewers must not forget that he's got many special abilities and skills from his time with the US Armed Forces, where he hunted down terrorists in Afghanistan. So Harry definitely is a tough man to compete with, and it seems like he's going to be a tough one to get rid of, if that's the case. We believe Harry's going to abduct Kreit, who's the Vance Engineer's head of protection, and get him to reveal what he understands about the Hitwoman. Harry then lures the assassin to Vance's lakeside residence. The two go through a tense gunfight, but Harry will most probably get the upper hand and kill the hired assassin. We'll probably have to wait till next season to see this happening on our screens. Viviana and her son are harmless and are on board to inherit Vance's multi-billion dollar estate. Next, Honey Chandler's newest lawsuit drives a wedge between Harry and her. We continue to be in awe of the riveting dynamic between Harry, Honey, and Boyle. This past season, we were introduced to the extraordinary world of a female drug prosecutor, and viewers were treated to gripping scenes that explore such diverse moral issues as racial equality, abortion politics, and the role of women in law enforcement. In the middle of all this, Honey Chandler has uncovered video proof that proves that the police planted evidence in the Davis murder. Maddie's body cam has footage of her and Honey Chandler talking, which proves that the police lied in their testimonies. The girls are ecstatic to see proof that they were being falsely charged and have to decide whether they'll go down to the court to clear their names. Maddie isn't happy that she's being used as a pawn in the case. Meanwhile, Amanda tries everything to prove her innocence while missing her husband, Nick. Honey's persistence in exposing the dangerous cops ultimately rubs Harry the wrong way. He says to Honey that he loves his job and he's going to turn her into a pariah. Harry and Honey had formed a tentative alliance this season as they worked on the Rogers and Vance situation. However, this threatens to drive a wedge between the ex-cop and the crusading protection lawyer. And has Maddie really been abducted? Maddie definitely loves her work with the LAPD, but she's also struggling with some of the more difficult aspects of the job. Maddie ultimately decides that she has to get herself some help, and she confesses to her dad. The things she sees on the streets deeply worry her, and she tells her dad that she needs him to answer the phone or respond to her text when she reaches out. After the little chat with her dad, Maddie decided to head home, but to her credit, she had no idea that she wasn't alone and that her life could be in grave danger. It was seen in the episode that a man wearing a Lucha Libre mask was lurking in the shadows of the street. As of now, it's not clear exactly who he is, but soon while walking, Maddie left a message to a building inspector named Doc Wheeler. When he called her back, he was looking up photos of her on Online. Pretty weird, don't you agree? In this episode, Maddie finally gets a chance to encounter Doc Wheeler at a food truck. While he always seems harmless, we think that something more sinister might be afoot. Could Doc Wheeler be the man who's a danger to Maddie and hiding in her apartment? Later, Maddie had set a meeting with her father. She doesn't show up to the art opening she's been planning with him. Harry Bosch heads to her apartment and he finds the door open and there are signs of a struggle. He finds Maddie unconscious and lying on the floor. Floor. It appears that she's passed out. Could this be the end of Maddie? We guess we'll have to wait to find out more. Now in other news. Renewed or cancelled? Will there be a season 2 of Bosch Legacy? Bosch Legacy is a 10-part crime thriller series which is a spin-off to the Amazon original Bosch. The season 2 of the series was announced ahead of season 1's first episode, airing at the start of March. Pretty impressive, right? However, at this point, we can only speculate when season 2 may arrive. Michael 
Michael Connolly, who is the producer of the series and the author of the original books, has revealed that production might start later this year, which means that season two will most likely be on our television screens early to mid of 2023 at the earliest. There's plenty of theories for where season two of Bosch Legacy could go. Obviously, there's a few mysteries that aren't fully uncovered at this point, which will inevitably be explored further, with Connolly also confirming that his book, The Crossing, might provide us some of the material for new episodes too. Is Bosch star Titus Welliver a hungry boy? When our favorite detective Harry Bosch eats, he typically shovels takeout food into his mouth from a container made in the hood of his car. Titus Welliver, the actor who has played the gruff Los Angeles cop turned private eye for nearly a decade, has a number of Bosch-like qualities when you meet him. Piercing eyes, a scene some crap heaviness, and a tendency to call people brother. Even with a bushy beard, dressed in baggy jeans, a Boston Celtics t-shirt, and a baseball cap, he exudes an innate Boschness. But unlike the character he's best known for, he knows how to stop and enjoy good food. Still, the thin line between Welliver's reality and the Boschverse gets blurry sometimes. For example, in a recent episode of Bosch Legacy, our favorite hero rolls out of bed in a t-shirt for Bosch the Restaurant. Seems like our hero really is a hungry boy. Another bit of funny news that we found out, Titus once stumbled upon an Italian restaurant while furniture shopping with his wife. He later befriended the owners, and now often stops by the hotel if his schedule and diet allows. So naturally, it seems like that life bleeds into the show. Next, John Zaderko, actor in Bosch and Criminal Minds, dies. We have sad news for our viewers today. The late blooming actor, John Zaderko, who's worked on such series as The Mentalist, 911 Lone Star, Criminal Minds, and Bosch Legacy, has unfortunately passed away. He died at the age of 60. Zaderko died Friday afternoon in Los Angeles due to complications from his treatment for cancer. This information came in after his fellow actor and friend, actor Charlie, gave an interview to The Hollywood Reporter about John. This year, Zaderko appeared in the Bleecker Street release, Breaking, which featured the late Michael K. Williams and John Boyega. The film debuted at the Sundance Film Festival. Zaderko was raised in Colorado and New Jersey, where he attended Park Ridge High School and played on the same basketball team as James Gandolfini. We send our condolences to the family of the departed and to Bosch fans who might be feeling upset after hearing this news. Lastly, Bosch legacy actress shares Madison reaction to LAPD on-set training. Actress and model Denise Sanchez joined the cast of Bosch Legacy as a fan favorite LAPD officer, Reina Vasquez. She had been tasked with training Maddie. We've seen her teaching Maddie the art of mastering the ropes from the very beginning. And due to her relation to Bosch, Reina has high hopes for her trainee, and so do we. So far, there have been various scenes showing how she's getting used to this new challenging career, which hasn't always been easy. But it was later revealed that this wasn't mere acting. This was also a task for actresses Sanchez and Lintz. Yes, you heard that right. The pair were being instructed behind the scenes by real-life former police officers to ensure the show is as realistic as possible. We bet you had no idea about this before. For watching this video. And that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions related to Bosch Season 1 or Season 2 or other related news, then let us know in the comments below. Did we miss anything? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Bye!